Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you the brand new Iron Banner weapons that are going to be coming out Tuesday this reset. Now this has been confirmed, it's going to be happening on the Tuesday the 18th. However, in today's video I'm going to be showing you the weapons that are coming. But before I do that, make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, you do subscribe because we're doing daily Destiny content pretty much every day from now on. So make sure you subscribe for that. Also drop a like down below because it does help the video a lot. I know a lot of people don't bother but it does help out a lot. And also comment any ideas you've got or your opinions on these weapons. So let's just jump straight into it. So the first weapon we're going to be looking at is the Bite of the Fox. It's a legendary sniper rifle. It's got aggressive frame and box breathing. That's the standard perks, however I do believe you can change these like with the random rolls. The impact seems good, the range seems good, the magazine's free, the rounds per minute 72. I mean to be honest snipers, it doesn't really matter which one you use, it's going to be a one shot headshot and a two body shots anyway. So it shouldn't really matter but that is the sniper for Iron Banner. So let me know your opinions on that down in the comment section. Just pause the video if I'm going too fast as well, just so you can look at the stats and anything you need to look at. And we'll jump straight into the next goal. So the next weapon we're going to be looking at is the Claws of the Wolf. It's a legendary again, I mean all these weapons will be legendary because it's Iron Banner. However, a few people were speculating that there would be an exotic, but it doesn't seem to be that way. So this is a Pulse Rifle. It comes standard with Rapid Fire Frame and Outlaw. The range is okay, stability is okay. Personally, I think this is one of the greater Iron Banner weapons that is coming. Hopefully I can get my hands on this, but I might not be able to. So if I can't, I'm going to try and make a video on this in the future. But it does look pretty good. The rounds per minute is really high at 540. The magazine's currently at 34. So I mean, that's decent. Outlaw is a good perk. Rapid fire frames a good perk. And don't forget you can get random rolls, so you could get kill clip, anything like that, and it make the gun a lot better. So we're going to jump onto the next weapon. Next we do have Breath of the Dragon. Now this is the legendary submachine gun. Now the impact is pretty low, the range is pretty low, the stability is okay for an SMG, the handling is pretty good, the magazine size is average I'd say, nothing too special. But the rounds per minute is 900 which is a really good fire rate so it's got lightweight frame superb handling move faster with this weapon equipped and also it does come standard with kill clip which is excellent obviously if you can get kill clip i can see this weapon becoming really good and it's definitely something you should be looking out for while playing iron banner now the next weapon we're going to be looking at is the swarm of the raven now this is probably one of my least favorite iron banner weapons that is coming Obviously, I've never even used a grenade launcher, I don't think, in Destiny 2. I don't think they're that good, but I'm going to tell you the stats anyway. It's a legendary, like all the others. Grenade launcher. Stability's okay, but I suppose none of these stats really matter. Velocity is 54, blast radius is 15, aim assistance is 27, recoil direction 63, weapon size 31, and zoom 13. Now it does have quite a big mag which is, I guess is the only good point to this weapon, an aggressive frame, but I can't really comment on grenade launchers because I don't use them anyway, so I wouldn't know what to say. So that's it for this weapon, I just thought I'd show you it anyway. The next weapon we're going to be looking at is the Roar of the Bear, which is the rocket launcher. Now this is probably the second favourite one I'm looking forward to. Obviously I do like to use rocket launchers in PvP and also PvE. However, this one is perfect for me. I love cluster bomb perk and hopefully that does come as standard and I do get that perk. But the stability, handling, reload speed, velocity and blast radius is good. And I mean everything on this weapon is good apart from one thing which is a magazine. Now that is the only thing that lets it down because it is one. However, if it is that good and the stats do show, I'm sure it wouldn't really matter in PvP. But obviously in PvE I think there would be better options. But let me know what you think on this weapon. Hopefully it will be as good as what it says on the stats. But let's jump straight into the next weapon. The final weapon we're going to be looking at is the Talons of Eagle. Now this is a scout rifle. 
However, it is quite a decent scout rifle to be honest. I mean, personally, I don't really like scout rifles in PvP, but the impact's good, the range is good, stability lets it down. However, with a few varied perks, I think you can boost this up quite a bit. Maybe Zen Moment, something like that would really help it. Aim assistance is 30, recoil direction 71, weapon size 59 and zoom 21 which is all standard. The magazine is decent for a scout rifle. I know the Jade Rabbit does hold 10 and I personally I don't think that's enough however this is sort of similar to the Jade Rabbit. Hopefully it will be like the Jade Rabbit with an extra magazine. If it's like that it's going to be one of the best weapons in the game no doubt. But let me know down in the comment section what you think. Unfortunately there's not an Iron Banner hand cannon. Now I am disappointed in this because hand cannons are one of my favourite weapons. However they don't seem to have brought one out this Iron Banner. But that doesn't mean they're not going to bring one out in the future. Hopefully they do bring it out. Also they've not done an assault rifle. So and a shotgun, anything like that. So I think in the next Iron Banner after this one, they will bring the other variants out, such as assault rifles, hand cannons, and hopefully we can get a good hand cannon. But let me know what your thoughts are on this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do subscribe. Drop a like down below, because this is the first news that we have had, and I've reported it pretty much before everyone else. If you could drop a sub, I'd appreciate it a lot, and I'll catch you in the next one.